What you're going to see in a moment are some demonstrations in our laboratory of some of the component parts that make up fireworks. So we're going to show you some coloured flames which will be coloured by the chemicals which are used in fireworks to give you those vivid reds, yellows, greens. Uh, also we've got one or two violent reactions and of course fireworks are generally violent reactions uh, within their confinement. So you'll see some of those as well, safely done in our laboratory. So the first element we're going to use is strontium. Uh, strontium is not really used for very much other than colouring flames and making f the red flares that you see for uh, rescue uh, operations. We're then going to follow that with sodium, which is such a well-known element, but when you spray sodium into a flame, you get a more intense uh, yellow. So we've gone from red to a sort of yellowy amber colour, and then we're going to follow that with green, uh, and we're going to use barium uh, to colour the flame green so that we get a traffic light effect in the end. It's, again, a fairly uh, unusual element, but it gives us that intense green. We're going to look at some metal powders, and these are often used to make the golden rain or silver rain that you get in fireworks. Iron, when it's uh, in very small pieces, if it's put into a flame, it will give you a golden rain. Uh, in contrast, aluminium, which of course is used in strong, uh, as a strong light material for aerospace and, and, and other things, some, maybe a bicycle is made of aluminium, and that will give you a, a more intense colour, so that's a sort of silver rain rather than a golden rain. Uh, and then as a finale, we've got a strip of magnesium. Uh, magnesium is often used in expensive camera bodies uh, as a cast metal. It's very lightweight, it's very strong, but it does burn very intensely and you'll see a very intense light as we burn the magnesium strip. And we've got an experiment which is known as the thermite experiment or thermite reaction and that's uh, been used historically to weld railway lines. We're going to show you a very small amount of that because it's an incredibly vigorous reaction. And finally we hope to show you a, a chemical volcano and uh, this is a substance which, when we heat it, produces um, an effect that looks like a volcano. Um, years ago they used to be used as indoor fireworks, but because they, it's in fact a very toxic substance, it's no longer used. So only the older members who are looking at this can perhaps remember those little volcanoes you used to get in Christmas crackers all those years ago. Uh, we now have to do it very carefully in a fume hood because of the toxicity of those materials. Not to say that all of chemistry is just about fireworks, there's so many other things too. It's a really fascinating subject, but certainly the fireworks helped in inspiring me to take a career in chemistry.